Hey guys, uh, let's discuss this problem today. So it's a 1900 problem. So as always, we are going to start with the example here. So in the input, we are going to have a number. This number is the length of the following uh, string array. So this string has a uh, five characters and uh, your, goal, your goal is to reverse this uh, string. So currently it's A-A-A-Z-A, right? You need to reverse it to A-Z-A-A-A. -A -A -A. Uh, this is your target. And uh, you can only use one kind of operation. Uh, which is a switch the characters uh, who are next to each other. You can switch, uh, switch two characters uh, position if they next to each other, right? So in this case, uh, you, the initial array is A, A, Z, A. And uh, the first step you can switch this two, right? and you can get a, a, Z, A, A. The second step is to switch these two. So you can get A, Z, A, A, A. So in total, you are going to need two steps. So you can output two, since this is the minimum number of steps you can reverse this string. So how can we solve this problem? So uh, first, let's uh, think about the uh, strategy here. So the naive strategy, uh, if we don't mind the uh, minimal number of uh, steps, uh, our strategy would be just uh, uh, iterate each of the characters, right? And if uh, uh, this is our initial stream, and uh, this is our um, target stream, so the naive strategy is to, uh, when we find a, a in the target stream, then we select uh, uh, one of the A's in the initial stream and move it to the first position. For example, we can move uh, this guy to the first place. And uh, in this way, we can get the target character, right? And we can do this for all of these characters in the uh, target stream, right? So. Uh, we move a, a to the first position, move a Z to the second position, and so on. Uh, eventually, we're going to have the target array. But uh, how can we make sure that we uh, just uh, use the minimum number of steps? So in that case, we're still going to iterate each of the uh, characters in the target stream but uh, to ensure we only use minimum number of steps, we need to make sure the uh, character we are going to move to the target position should be the nearest character, right? So in this case, uh, this A in the initial stream is closest to our target position, right? Uh, so we don't move it. So we don't need a uh, extra step to move one of the A's uh, into this position. So uh, with that being said, so our strategy is clear. So for each of the characters, we're going to move the uh, closest uh, character to the target position. So how can we do that? Um, we can maintain a um, DQ array, right? So this uh, DQ array is a uh, 
bunch of uh, DQs. So what is DQ? Uh, if you use uh, C++, a DQ is a queue that uh, have a head and a tail, right? And uh, you can push a new element uh, into uh, the array uh, at the tail position. And uh, you can remove uh, one of the elements from uh, the head or the tail. So that is uh, very basic. So we are going to have a bunch of DQs. So the first DQ is uh, record all the positions um, for A, right? So A appears at a position zero, at a position one, and a position two, and a position uh, two, three, four position four, right? And uh, also for Z here, Z appears at uh, position one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, right? So we have a queue here, record all the characters uh, appearance position. So uh, when we iterate uh, the target array from uh, first to last, we are going to uh, extract the first appearance of this uh, character, right? In this case, when we move our pointer to the first one, we are going to check what is the uh, nearest uh, position of A, right? So this DQ says is zero, so uh, we check uh, how many steps are we going to need to move this A from this position to the target position? So the target position is zero and the first appearance position is also zero. So the total step is uh, not changed, right? It's still zero. And uh, here uh, we need to uh, um, uh, actually, let's move on, right? So we move the pointer to the next uh, character, Z. So what is the first uh, appearance of Z here? It's three, right? And our target uh, location is one. So three minus one equals to two, right? So the step here is two now, right? And uh, I forgot to remove this uh, first appearance of A from the DQ, right? Because we already use A at this position. So we need to remove it from the DQ. And uh, next we get uh, another A here and the location is two. And what is the closest A now? So it says one. Right, but uh, that is not actually the case here because we move Z from this position to this position and made two swaps. That means this A already moved to here, right? So uh, even though the DQ's element here says its location is one, but the actual location of A is actually two, right? So uh, why is that? It is because we move one of the characters behind this uh, character to the uh, front. So in that case, we need to uh, move all the characters in between back, uh, to, uh, back one position. Right, so how are we going to do that? So we are going to maintain a um, prefix sum tree, right? We are going to use binary index tree to achieve that. So if you are not familiar with the binary uh, index tree, you probably want to uh, look for some tutorials online. So I'll uh, do a uh, shorter brief. So the binary index tree 
is a data structure uh, provides two API. One is updates and uh, uh, one is um, one is sum up, right? So for example, if you want to, um, if you have an array like uh, one, two, four, one, two, um, the sum up function will return you, uh, the sum up uh, functions input is a index like, uh, uh, for example, two. So these functions uh, uh, return value is going to be the sum of the first two elements, right? Which is three. And if sum three is going to be the sum of the first three elements, which is seven, right? Uh, it's very straightforward. Um, it's just to calculate the prefix sum of the array. And what is the update? So update is going to have two uh, input. One is index and one is the value. So this, uh, this API is let you to change one of the uh, items in the array. For example, if we change uh, to one, that means we are going to add one into the um, into the position two element, right? This is a position two element, right? So it is going to be five now. And if you run the sum for three uh, now, you are going to have eight, right? So this is a binary index tree. So this um, binary, what is uh, binary index tree doing here? So we are going to uh, leverage this data structure to help us uh, find out what is the actual position of the one of the characters in the DQ, right? So uh, here uh, we move a position three Z to the front. That means we are going to uh, we are going to add two, uh, add one position to both of the characters before Z, these two characters, right? So we, uh, um, we are going to just uh, um, add one here and uh, minus one here, so that uh, uh, the uh, so that all of the elements in between will be uh, at one, and uh, uh, all of the elements after Z will not be affected, right? So uh, here uh, we have uh, zero, one, two, three four, four elements. And uh, now we add one to the first element and uh, um, minus one at the Z. So that uh, when we do a uh, sum up for this tree, uh, we can know that uh, it is just a one, right? So when we check what is the actual position of one, uh, position one here, we can know that uh, the actual location of position one is one plus sum up uh, one, which is uh, also one. And uh, what is the actual, uh, so now we can uh, put the uh, A into the uh, position, right? because the actual position of A is two and the target uh, position of A is also two. So in total, uh, the steps, uh, number of steps doesn't change, right? 
and so as the uh, third A. So the ta target position of this A is three and the uh, initial position of that A is two. And uh, we are going to add one to uh, get the actual location of the uh, of this A, which is three. So the actual position of A is uh, equal to the target position of A. So the step is uh, still the same. So we repeat this process uh, on and on, and we'll eventually get the total number of steps, right? So that's it. Um, let's look at the code here. So uh, this part is the binary index tree part. So as I said before, two APIs, one is sum up, right? Binary index tree sum up, and this is the uh, tree, and this is the index. And this is a binary uh, index tree update. So you are going to update uh, the index tree um, at uh, this index and uh, the difference is he, uh, the value here, right? And uh, the actual implementation of these two API is not actually that important because if you commit to the uh, code force uh, context, you have to have this uh, code as templates, right? So that if you want to use it, you just need to copy paste the template here. So the implementation here is not actually important. So um, here we are going to read uh, the number of four characters in the stream and read the stream. And uh, here is where we create those DQs. So the DQ can uh, store all the positions of those characters. Right, and then we create the tree structure, and uh, we are going to um, iterate through all of the characters, and uh, this is the uh, uh, target character, right? So for the first target, is actually the last character in the initial string, right? And uh, this is the uh, current. Uh, um, location, uh, nearest uh, location of the current uh, target character, right? And uh, uh, with this, we are going to calculate the actual position of that character now, right? And uh, to cal calculate that uh, actual location, we are going to use uh, uh, prefix uh, sum here so that uh, we can know how many characters have been moved before that uh, um, position, right? We are going to add those characters to the current location so uh, that we can get the actual location of that character. And we are going to minus that uh, by the target location of the character, right? And this is the... Um, new steps we are going to add to the final answer. And uh, uh, after that, we are going to update the binary, uh, binary index tree because now we move a new character uh, to the front of this string, right? So that uh, we need to move all the uh, characters. Uh, we need to record that operation and uh, add one to all of the characters in between. Uh, finally, we are going to pop that uh, character location from the DQ and uh, do that again and again and uh, output the answer here. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.